Good morning, guys. What's going on? It is the Earth Master here on this uh, early Monday morning. Well, afternoon for some. It is the first day of November 2021, about 1021 a.m. California time. Latest quake on the globe is a 5.9 earthquake. <clears throat> Excuse me. Out here around the Indonesia area. Seen a large in uh, increase in earthquake activity yesterday down here along the Pacific Plate. Quite a bit of deep movement and a lot of shallow quakes as well contributing to the massive amount of increase in pressure along this area of the plates here 5.9 the latest quake pretty large quake uh, yesterday we seen an uptick in earthquake activity following this 6.1 down here in the south sandwich islands area let's go ahead and check out the latest information here from the usgs folks uh showing some activity across the globe or across the map, I should say, on this flat scale model. There is the 5.9 in the Indonesia area, pretty shallow, 6.4 kilometers for that earthquake striking along the Java Trench area, looks like, just uh, just to the west of it, just by a little bit. Nonetheless, uh, looks like it's pretty much right smack dab on it from the map view. There's all that increased earthquake activity confined to the Fiji, Tonga, Vanuatu area. Uh, just don't really see too much activity like that in a uh, cluster of uh, moderate to large quakes. So we need to keep an eye on this region here. Some pretty deep movement as well striking there yesterday. Uh, once again, that 6.1 that struck down here in the South Sandwich Islands area. Relatively deep into the South Sandwich Trench. Uh, since then, we had seen a little bit of earthquake activity aftershock sequences there. Working its way up towards the uh, trench region here. This is down dip. The uh, 6.1 was, but we had 4.7 and a 5.0. 5.0, pretty shallow. Back, uh, back stream here, back building along the South Sandwich Trench. Uh, some other activity working its way uh, through the Chile area. Had a, keep seeing a pair of fours out here. Yesterday or day before it was 4.2. Uh, now we got 4.0 doubles kicking off within the uh, Peru Chile Trench. One of them deep, one of them not so deep. We got that shallow one down there near Santiago and up further north, uh, 115 kilometer deep, 4.0. Uh, working our way up here to the North American plate. Some activity ramping up in the States. Also off the coast here, of El Salvador had a 5.0, 63 kilometers deep into the Middle America Trench here. This is a little uh, trench region and also uh, a 4.4 quickly followed up uh, from that 5.0 into the states looking at the all magnitudes here we did have some further activity off the coast of oregon including this 3.8 well off from the cascadia subduction zone uh, kind of out there around the blanco fracture zone 10 kilometers for that earthquake far as the depth goes into the pacific northwest relatively uh, quiet for the most part, Intermountain West region, so shown some height and earthquake activity uh, stretching into parts of Northern California as well. No major swarming or movement to report in Northern California. Seeing uh, some activity along the creeping section and the Ridgecrest area ramping up uh, with some earthquake activity, but the Garlock Fault shear uh, zone here and also the Salton Sea southern part of the San Andreas Fault all looks pretty, uh, looks pretty quiet. There's only a couple uh, scattered dots out here indicating some minor uh, uh, microquake activity in the Southern California region. Had a pretty big, I shouldn't say big, but uh, unusual earthquake out here, 4.5 into northern New Mexico yesterday. Uh, this one was 6.2 kilometers deep into this mountain range here. Looks like the, uh, what is that? Sangre de uh, Crist Cristo? Hopefully uh, that was correct. I probably slaughtered that. But nonetheless, that earthquake striking out here in the mountain range of northern New Mexico. They did have uh, a 3.6, a little four shake or four quake uh, within the vicinity. It looks like about an hour or so before the 4.5 struck. Both of these earthquakes, uh, well, it looks like between four and six kilometers deep into New Mexico region. Looks like a few folks reported filling it out there. As we look at the uh, did you fill it map, you can see the regional view of northern New Mexico. Looks like maybe even the parts of Colorado uh, reported some uh, very light, weak shaking from that 4.5 that struck yesterday in New Mexico. 
Um, let's see, what do we got for Pecos, Texas region? Pretty quiet down there in that part of Texas. Midland area showing a little bit of uh, earthquake movement up through Oklahoma. Um, also Yellowstone area seeing a little increase in earthquake activity as well. Looking at this view here, there is the 4. Point, uh, I believe this is the 4.5 that struck. Let me see. Actually, no, these were localized quakes. Seeing these kick off on the Yellowstone uh, stations there that I run on the live stream last night. There was just a, uh, a pair of earthquakes. Nothing big on the USGS map. Let's see what these guys are um, calling these here. Looks like a 2.0 and a 1.7. These earthquakes here were almost back to back. I've seen these come up live on the uh, seismograph. But since then, uh, looks like it could have kicked off a little swarming activity um, following those two earthquakes. You can see that 2.0 and 1.7. Looks like maybe that one's got to be a little bit got to be a little bit larger than a 1.7 but uh, it is what it is according to the USGS uh, but since then we've seen a little earthquake activity all these spikes here indicative of some seismic activity in the Yellowstone Park over the last couple hours looks like things have calmed down but uh, you can kind of see how things uh, ramp up in Yellowstone very quickly uh, if it's going to turn into a sw uh, major swarm I, I can't really say looks kind of like it's uh, just dying out uh, over the last couple hours, so we'll keep an eye on it. Here's a little bit more distinct view of those two quakes that came in uh, on a faraway station, <clears throat> 2.0 and a 1.7 accordingly to the USGS. Uh, the trimmer map last night looked pretty uh, interesting. We're looking at uh, some movement and migration on the Cascadia into parts of Oregon here. It looks like uh, the, the movement around Seattle has halted and now it has picked up once again on the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone with trimmer activity confined mostly to Oregon. Uh, looks like it may be stretching down into Northern California. We will check that out a little bit later on once it becomes available and they update this map. But this is from last night. 242 epicenters of trimmer uh, towards the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. We've got an interesting day. i got some rain coming in once again in California. We will take all the rain we could get. Not really expecting any windstorms, so far as the stream going down it should be stabilized uh, for today's weather system so we'll catch you guys a little bit later on stay safe out there everyone